At 73 meters in length and with an 80 meter wingspan, the Airbus A380 is the world's largest ever passenger plane. Traveling at speeds of over 700 miles per hour, this jumbo jet can transport you between countries in utter luxury. But how exactly is life inside an A380? Global giant British Airways runs a fleet of these feats of engineering, setting the standard for economy comfort in the industry. Passengers will be immediately greeted with a double-width staircase towards the front of the plane, one of the first of its type, and of course leading to the A380's famous upper deck. Throughout the cabin, LED lights provide the most energy-efficient lighting solution. These can be controlled to mimic different scenes or moods such as sunset and sunrise to help prevent fatigue among passengers, helping with the changing time zones. Plenty of natural light also enters the cabin during daylight hours through the exceptionally large windows, which are larger than most other aircrafts. Owing to a fuselage some 20 inches wider than Boeing's answer to the A380, the 747, passengers will notice the more roomy feel of the cabin. And because on the main deck the fuselage is still curving outwards, exterior seats benefit from extended shoulder width, perfect for those flying next to a stranger in that oh-so-awkward middle seat. Economy class, or world traveller as British Airways likes to put it, has enough space for 299 passengers. Each and every seat, even for flyers with the cheapest of tickets, features a USB charging port to keep smartphones and tablets charged on those longer haul flights, while a further 170 seats are split between the remaining classes, including 97 reserved for business class. Known in BA terminology as club class, these seats are split between the lower and upper decks. Interestingly, the upper deck is wider again, at 70 inches more than a 747's upper deck, helping to create a truly airy and spacious ambience. Up here, 55 World Traveller Plus seats make use of the extra space, as well as a larger screen and two USB ports. To you and I, this is premium economy. Because this area is above the midway point, the fuselage begins to curve back, tapering inwards as it goes up, and rather than cutting off that all-important headroom, British Airways moved the seats inwards, which in turn made room for seat-level lockers, perfect for storing things like laptops and handbags. Economy is called just that for a reason. Airliners fit as many people on as is reasonably possible in order to sell more tickets, making more profit for the company. But if you're looking for something a little bit more special, Emirates has got you covered. If you're heading on a once-in-a-lifetime trip, maybe the premium economy area is more up your street. When it comes to Emirates, all seats, apart from economy, are finished in a luxurious cream-coloured quilted design leather. In fact, premium economy seats even boast retractable leg rests that emerge from under the seat to help passengers fall asleep more easily. In fact, a general cream and polished wood theme continues throughout the entire cabin, striking the perfect balance between luxury and opulence, and a clean and open design language. Electric window shades make blocking out unwanted light a breeze. Spend a few hundred more, though, and you're in for a treat. A waterfall sits at the top of the staircase, recessed into the wall like a piece of modern art. Yes, you heard that right, a waterfall with real flowing water on board an aeroplane flying at 40,000 feet. But what if you really wanted to push the boat out? Uh, sorry, what if you really wanted to push the plane out? What if you had $30,000 to spend on a round trip from New York City to Abu Dhabi? Or make that $40,000 for a couple? It's time to disembark from your Emirates flight and join forces with Etihad Airways. The whole experience starts off at home or at your favorite five-star hotel. From here, your personal Etihad chauffeur will transport you to the airport in a luxury limousine, something like a Mercedes S-Class. A private concierge guides you past the check-in desks and straight to your private lounge, because of course, they've already managed everything for you, including the check-in service. The first meal included in the package will be enjoyed in this private area, a multi-course meal selected especially for you according to your personal preferences. The lucky passenger or passengers will then likely move on to the spa facilities, or maybe just a short massage to help soothe and relieve tension before the long flight. When it's time to fly, a personal butler awaits, having prepared some of your favourite entertainment or maybe food to enjoy over the course of the flight. The onboard cabin, called the residence, consists of three rooms for the exclusive use of top paying guests. The lounge is where they are likely to rest, watch some television and enjoy food from a customised menu, devised by a personal chef, and again made up of many courses. Unlimited free Wi-Fi can be enjoyed from here too. Or maybe a short kit may help the time pass. At the end of a small corridor lies a full-size double bed and a second television. As the flight draws to an end, just before breakfast is the perfect opportunity to take a warm shower in your very own private bathroom area with complimentary Aqua de Palma toiletries. Yes, even more crazy than a waterfall on a plane is a full-sized shower. It's a real shame then that the flight isn't longer, as there are so many facilities on board to explore and so many opportunities to enjoy good food and drink. Helping to create this exceptional level of service for all passengers is a team of 22 cabin crew, who, on long-haul flights, work in rotation so that they can have rest just like you and I. 
Beneath the main deck, in a secret underground world, there is a living area for cabin crew. By no means is it as large or luxurious as upstairs, but a selection of bunk beds at least provides some sort of privacy and rest. Headspace is pretty limited, with taller crew needing to duck just to fit through the tight squeezes. Bunks can be two or even three high, similar to a capsule-style hotel found in many Asian countries. More spacious may be other living quarters for the pilot and his or her team. A standalone room just off the main cockpit, they can enjoy more headspace and larger beds. They too can enjoy the in-flight entertainment, just like the other passengers. Pilots of the A380 really do deserve that rest too. They must all be trained on ground handling specific to the A380, just thanks to its sheer size. An 80-meter wingspan makes taxiing a bit of an undertaking, but to help the pilot, two cameras can be employed. While we enjoy looking through the cameras as a matter of fun, the pilots rely on the ground-facing camera to locate the nose wheel and keep it on track with the guiding lines, and the tail-mounted camera to keep an eye on the hive of activity that's always going on at an airport. Pilots are also trained to safely fly the beast in the air, which can weigh a maximum of around 570 tons at takeoff. Each 40-metre wing weighs 40 tonnes, the same as 20 large family cars, and can hold a total of 250 tonnes of fuel. In comparison, your average family hatchback holds around 0.06 tonnes of fuel. However, a unique wing design allows the plane to approach at much lower speeds than something like a 747-400. The lower engine speeds mean an overall quieter experience for the passengers inside as well as the residents unfortunate or fortunate enough to live near an airfield. The landing gear consists of 22 ginormous wheels, which can only support 390 tonnes upon landing, which means the plane must burn through at least 180 tonnes of that fuel in order to make a safe landing. The multiple classes of luxury are all thanks to the size of the A380, Airbus's answer to growing numbers of traffic in and around airports. Moving more passengers in one plane consequently results in fewer planes congesting the system. Have you ever flown in the world's largest passenger plane? Maybe you noticed the quality and design inside was like nothing else you'd experienced in the air before, or maybe you dream of one day occupying the residence on an Etihad Airways flight.